Well, I'm, first, I'm just really um, I'm proud of, of how hard we played today defensively. I, I thought we were um, I thought our kids played really hard. It was a special second quarter. Um, the last five minutes was really good, and the, the last five minutes of the third quarter was really good. And, uh, you know, offensively, I think we're still a work in progress. Um, we didn't finish up the game right, but, um, you know, Joe, I thought, just had tremendous presence today. When Rory went out, we really didn't miss a beat. And, in fact, I think we extended our lead. And uh, Audrey off the bench continues to – kind of be a, a fix-it-all for us. And um, you take away her three turnovers that she had today. She had four steals and um, five out of six at the line, four out of seven from the field. And and uh, she had a, a – a, a, but defensively, it's what she does that just really adds to our team. And, um, you know, I just – I'm trying to get our other four players to be as aggressive defensively in denial and things that she does. But – it's just something that she brings to the table. She's smart. She's always in help. She's not afraid to get run over. Um, her little neck thing that she wears now is her saving grace. So uh, we, we, we like that. Um, I probably need to buy stock in that, don't I? Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, I just thought these two. And, look, for us to win, y'all, these two have to be special. They have to play well um, every night. Uh, we, we, can't, we can't win with them not playing well. Um, you know, I thought – we did a nice job on 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 Lauren Hurd. She's so good, y'all. And uh, I thought as a team, we really paid attention to where she was and what she was trying to do. And and um, and I thought we did, which I think is really important when you're when you're trying to to defend TCU. I think you got to do a great job on her because she, she really is a great player and, and makes them go. So um, you know, Ebo had a double double, thirteen and ten in her first game back from from uh, COVID protocol, so um, played played more minutes than I thought. Again, I'm, I'm proud of my kids. We're, we're four and two, and um, anytime you can win on the road, it's great. Anytime you can play that well defensively, is it's really good. So we'll uh, take tomorrow off and get back after it Monday. Got a big game on Wednesday against a, uh, an outstanding K-State team that's got an All-American inside that we're going to have to deal with. But you pay too much attention to her. They got a bunch of kids around her that can really stroke it and shoot it. So, um, be excited for this for this team, and we continue to get better. Joe, has this team kind of finally found its groove? Um, I would say just right now we've just been really locked in defensively. Um, I don't know. I just want to give props to Odd because, like, I don't. I don't think y'all realize how good defensively she is. Like, I mean, four steals, that's a lot. But, like, just like when you're guarding the best player on somebody's team, the way she helps, the way she takes herself out of position sometimes to help you, it, it's, it's like, it's, it's so huge. Like, I, I don't think y'all see that on the floor. It's, it's so comforting when you're guarding somebody's best player. But, yeah, I think right now we're really locked in defensively and it's shown and we stopped turning over the ball as much as we did. And it looks better. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Spoken like a coach. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about your homecoming, being able to come back home and play in front of your family. How was that tonight? Um, it, it's always fun to come back um, here and get to see my family because, you know, they don't always get to come to away games or come to any of the home games. But it's just fun being here. It's a great environment to play in. It's since freshman year, Joe and I have loved coming here to play here. It's <laughs> just fun. it's one of the most fun games. <laughs> Um, nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talked to Vic, um, I guess whenever the availability was this week, about your game on Saturday and you not scoring. He mm-hmm. said he had no hesitation about keeping you on the floor because of all the <clears> things you bring to, the, bring to this team. What is your role on this team? What do you bring to this team? That's nice of him to say. <laughs> um, but I would like for you to score. I know. Me too, Coach. Me too. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just play hard. That's all I see when I get on the floor. That's that's all I'm trying to do, whether I'm scoring or, or not. Like, I just I just want the best for each and each and every one of us. So, like, if that comes from me, okay. But if it doesn't, I'm just going to play my part support my teammates, and do do what I'm supposed to do on the court. So, yeah. I think in that first half, it seemed like you guys were able to 
to use your depth a little bit when there's nine, nine players scored. You know, how good is it to kind of get that depth going um, with what this season is? Well, it's, it's great. I mean, to be able to play Kendall and Shea now, they're coming. Those kids are getting better and better. Um, you know, we need that depth at guard, you know. Um, uh, you know, we've, we've had a little bit of depth inside. We were without Latasha today. She's sick. And so, you know, again, we were kind of at, at three and a half at four or five. She has to play four some, which gives us that fourth. But, um, you know, um, I, 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 I mean, our, look, we're, we're, we got three seniors and then we don't have a junior class, really. I mean, we've got a bunch of sophomores, right? And freshmen, not sophomores, got a bunch of freshmen, and so it's they're all they're all learning, they're all growing, they're all getting better, and uh, and so um, we've just you know Aaliyah and Fom are my two juniors, and um, and and so we're just our young kids are it just takes a while, you know it just it just does it's hard to go straight from high school to ask these two look at their stats as freshmen it's just hard you know but. The more experience you get, the more comfortable you get. Like I thought Kendall tonight turned down three shots, wide open shots that I wanted her to take, but one of them she turned down and makes a great pass to Audrey for a, for a baseline jumper. Unselfish, really, you know, and that's, that to me is, is, is a great basketball play, you know. And so it is good to have that depth. We need it. Um, you know, I think any time you, you got that many kids playing double-figure minutes, that's that's going to not only help you this year, but it's going to pay off down the line. If your three seniors play like they did today, sorry. If your three seniors play the way that they played today, is this going to be a team that's pretty tough to beat? I, I I've, I've said that that if those kids will play right, if they can can string them together, we'll have a chance every night. But when two or three of them don't play well, it, it's it's a struggle. It's a big struggle, bus. So they've, they've got to own that. I want them to wear it. I want them to own it. Um, I want them to live in the gym. They've got a month and a half of the rest of their life, two months, rest of their life. So sell out. I mean, this is it. So sell out and let's see what we can do. And, again, I, I want them to be the example for our other kids. I want them to be the example in the classroom, off the floor, in, on the court, getting extra shots. I want kids to walk in the gym and go, oh, so they're here. They've been here. Oh, they've already worked out. Oh, they're staying. I'm tired, and they're staying to shoot. Well, maybe I will. To me, that's the value that these kids have, and we need them to play well. The, the, it's on them. I can't, I can't take that. It's not pressure, but I can't take that, um, you know, the importance of that from them because that's what they bring to the table. So they do need to play well, and um, – and, and, and when they do, we have a chance to win every night. Did Rory kind of tweak, tweak her back? Yeah, I think she hurt her back a little bit. And, you know, when she went out, I thought Joe was really good. I mean, brought presence to the floor, ran our team. We got good looks, actually increased our lead up to 26, I think. I, I just thought Joe, and she's more comfortable getting more and more. The more I put her there, the more comfortable she gets there. And, uh, you know, again, um, Somewhere down uh, along the line, Joe got moved over to the wing. But, you know, when I recruited her, I recruited her as a point guard. And she probably likes playing over there on the wing some. But, um, you know, I think she's got – I know she's got the IQ. She's got the basketball mentality. Um, and, you know, uh, and knows what to do and how to do it. So, I mean, you saw that shot to end the third quarter, the presence that she had to know the clock, to, to get to her spot – really good execution. I mean, that's what a senior does in that moment. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to lean on these three seniors. And, and Aaliyah Matharu, she, you can throw her in that group too as a, as a junior. Those four need to play well. How would you say Rory has grown as far as anticipating on defense? She had three steals in the first half, all, all led to points. Um, how has she kind of grown in that role? Uh, she's always been good there, Danny. You know, she's just – she's a – she's she's nobody – you know, she's a menace, you know. You just don't like her. She's a gnat. And uh, it's just some – a gnat you can't get rid of, you know. She just 
she wears you down. She t- picks her po- picks her moments where she can get you, you know, whether it's on ball or off ball. The kid's got such a a great uh, anticipation and understanding and rotating. I mean, she comes from nowhere sometimes to get some passes, you know, that maybe you're trying to be fed to the post um, on a you know on a rotation or something. So she's got that. Uh, to me, she's she's got that sixth sense, you know. And again, a freshman beyond her years, knowing how to rotate defensively and and um, and and then offensively, I think she's she continues to learn. You know, she learned probably tonight a few things, but she's good about drawing fouls and she's good about creating for others and took care of the ball tonight. No turnovers, I don't think. Uh, Had five assists, no turnovers, which is good. That's a pretty good stat line for a freshman running a team and had three steals. So she won't be happy about her two for nine, but I'm thrilled with the rest of her stat line, you know. So... She just she it, it I tell you what it does when you got a point guard like her somebody's got to waste a defender on her. You can't just throw one over on Joe and Aaliyah and go well the third one can can get the point guard. You're gonna have to guard her, and that's what allows I think our other wings to be successful. So. Audrey, when you go home, um, play these games, do you get to see your family much outside? The, do they get to show up at the hotel? Do you get to spend any extra time with them after the game? What is um, yeah, I mean, in the, <laughs> no, uh, I mean, in the past, uh, they could go to the hotel, but, you know, COVID reasons, I don't, they don't really do it much, and then, you know, they're probably waiting outside for me right now, and, you know, they, they'll stay as long as I can stay, so. <laughs> You're in <English>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We good? Thanks, guys. Appreciate y'all. Thank Praise you. Praise the Lord, hook